Yeah, thank you, Father. He has brought us back in to come together for another time to study, for Bible study. Coming out of the distractions of this world to enter in together to learn all that he has for prepared for us. And welcome everyone here to Repairing the Breach Ministries. Coming together, as we said, we're coming together here for a Bible, Thursday evening Bible study. Uh, yeah, everyone that's have joined together, keep in mind just be in continuous prayer as we all come together that, that uh, there be no no interruptions, no disturbances, nothing to hinder uh, our Father's lesson from coming out. Uh, keep be in prayer for those that are joining together with us online, uh, as well that that the Wi-Fi signal stays strong, that there be nothing to have nothing, no cutting out of the signal, uh, and that everyone that on their travels to join together with us to have safe travels. And uh, just being, continue being, uh, keep in mind, don't be a distraction or, or any kind of interruption to anyone. And we all come here uh, in one heart, one one mind, to focus upon our Father, to learn out of his, out of his, out of his Bible, his words out of his Bible, to learn the, uh, the deep understanding, the deep meaning of of his word. And so let's keep in mind just to. Uh, uh, just to be in continuous prayer and to be ready to receive. But before we get started, let's all bow our head, bow our heads to join together in uh, opening up and open up in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, guiding and keeping and standing on with us. Dear Father, we thank you for the peace and the joy that you've given to us, all that you've done for us, dear Father. We thank you for allowing us another time, another opportunity to come together out of the distractions of this world, to enter in into this your, your Bible study, dear Father, to focus in upon you, dear Lord, to hear your word and to receive all that you have, all that you have prepared for us to receive. And I pray this day, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us of all the sins we've committed against you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, all, all, uh, uh, all, all that slipping up that we have done, I pray in the name of Jesus to forgive us, dear Father, and bring us, uh, to show us, to, to bring us back upon that straight and narrow pathway, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, to show us the, the way, dear Lord, and as we enter in, in and to sit at your feet to receive your word, dear Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Father, to bless and guide and keep us, dear Lord, your anointing to rain down upon each and every one of us, dear Father. Uh, remind all of us you're hungry, dear Father, that that, that, that your power does not diminish with, with the distance that separates your children as, as we enter in, united in one, focused in upon you, dear Father, no matter how many miles separate us, dear Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, that as we as we start this lesson, to be, uh, that uh, we all be able to receive it. We all uh, have have a hearing ear, dear Father, to receive it within our hearts, dear Lord. And and I pray, dear Father, just to continue on with us, dear Father, continue standing with us, blessing, guiding, keeping us with everything that we do, dear Father, as we come together, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. I, let there be no disturbances, no interruptions upon us, dear Father, upon any of us, dear Father, here or those that are joining together with us online dear lord uh give us peace and joy dear father protection surround us with your angels dear father in the name of jesus dear, dear father bless this lesson that com that comes forth dear father that it may be re be able to be received by each and every one of your hungry that join together with us dear father and in satan in the name of jesus i cast you out of this place uh, this this whole this Bible study as a whole, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I command you to take your hands off the electronics. You shall not have anything to do with it. You shall not interrupt or disturb any of this Bible study. I command you in the name of Jesus to take your hands off of our fathers hungry that join together with us here as well as those that join together with us online. You shall not be an in, in, in interference. You shall not be a hindering force. You shall not disturb or interrupt this lesson to be re being received by all of our fathers hungry. And in the name of Jesus I cast you out in the name of Jesus I command you to take your hands off of everything to <clears throat> to leave us leave us even right now in, in in Jesus name yes father we thank you and we praise you dear Lord for being with us allowing us to come together dear father now we know that your Holy Spirit is with us at all times dear father 
And I pray in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, as we as we all come together, as we all join together, united in one, focused in upon you, dear Father, that your Holy Spirit will be with us, that will, will interpret your word for us, dear Father, from those that can only handle the milk of the word to those that can handle the meat of your word, dear Father, that everyone that is willing to hear, willing to receive, desire to, to receive your word, dear Father, that we all have that understanding, dear Father. Make it so we all can understand, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, that none will be one that none will be confused, that there be no interference of your word entering into our hearts, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I pray, dear Father, remind all of your children, all of your hungry, dear Lord, as we come together, dear Father, to that this lesson is put together by you, is delivered by you, dear Father, and you get all the glory and praise, all the accolades, everything, dear Father, none to fall upon myself, that there may be no temptation of pride to enter in unto your servant, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Stand and guide and keep us, dear Father, and I let it be be known this day I crucify my flesh I give myself to you dear father fully I crucify my flesh I empty my cup and I pray in the name of Jesus dear father that you will speak your word through me dear father uh, put everything together that'll be heard everything that needs to be said will be said dear father uh, I pray dear Lord to to uh, speak to your servant dear father and everything that you would have me to speak to say dear Lord I have nothing of myself to give, dear Father, of any value, dear, dear Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus to speak through me, dear Father. Use your servant, dear Lord, to speak your word, dear Father. I cannot speak upon my own. I cannot teach, dear Father, and I desire not to unless it is you that takes charge, dear Father. You take the lead, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. Teach through your servant, dear Lord. I give myself fully to you, dear Father, This uh, and, and throughout this Bible study and at all times, dear Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you for all that you have done, dear Father, and all that you're going to do for us, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. Sorry, here. Back. Revelations. Ow. <laughs> Chapter 4. Revelations chapter 4, uh, we went, we did the first three verses of how God opened the door for, for John to see all of, the, all of these things. And we, uh, we repeated once again that, that he was in the spirit. How all things that, are, that, that he was revealed here of, of, the, <clears throat> of the, the, the voice that he heard that, that was like a trumpet in, in verse 1 saying come hither uh uh the the of all these were uh where he was seen a throne in in heaven and and uh and one that sat upon the throne and the the all of the what what is that the jasper and the sapphire stones and the rainbow round about and the sight as, as an emerald all of these things what that was shown to john to give to the seven churches and to all of us he was in the spirit and we we see in, in verse two it says immediately I was in the spirit, like the Lord explained to us last week. He he was not, he was continuously in the in the spirit, uh, as it said as it said in, in in chapter one verse uh, what verse was that, verse ten. That there was no leaving out, there was no leaving him, leaving uh, leaving the spirit behind and and going on, and and then jumping back into it he was always in the spirit of, in, in the spirit and now here in in and so being continuously in the spirit the door was open to him it, it had to be open for him he could not open it himself and, and everything that is being that that is going to be shown to him has has to be it, it, the lord has to allow it. And, and like just like with with uh our walk with Christ, our salvation, it's nothing that we've done, it's nothing that we've earned, it's nothing that we can do our, on our own. It, ha it has to be, um, <coughs> and it has to be uh, commissioned by God, if you will. It has to be allowed by God. And, and, and this is the same way with, uh, with everything that John is going to be uh, receiving. And, and this is where we're going to start getting into uh, the images of what he's seen and and just like with, with everything in in revelations it's more than what you read it's more than what it's more than the words that are on the page because if you just read the things that are on the page it can be confused it will be confusing it will be uh 
bothersome and, and frustrating, not 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 understanding what it means, and and so the Lord is going to break things down for us, and uh, I believe He's going to take it slowly for us, so we have that understanding of it. And uh, let's go. We're going to start off in verse four. And uh, some some of the passages I'm going to read out the King James. Some I'm going to read out the NIV. These opening the the opening and majority of the passages I'm, I'm going to be reading out of the King James unless it varies uh, severe how it words severely in the in, in the NIV all right now here we're starting at uh verse 4 of chapter verse 4 of chapter 4 in Revelations this is and round about the throne were 24 were 20 and 4 seats and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crown, crowns of gold now these these seats that are around uh the throne the the, the throne that was that that god's throne that was shown as a, in, in the uh in verse three how it says in the sight of like unto an emerald now the now in the, uh the Hebrew Greek the the term for for seats is uh thronos it's uh it's g twenty three what is that twenty three sixty two it's used it's used fifty four times uh as uh, or was interpreted as throne fifty four times and it's it's interpreted into seat uh seven times but it, it's a it's a state it's a stately seat to say it's a stately seat it's a it's a the implication of power uh it, it, this it's really means throne that where, where it says that the these seats these 24 seats but it's not a throne it's not the throne like the throne of god it, it's it's it, it's a a seat of authority that God has given these these twenty four elders uh, that that have a that that have their place in them. It's a, it's a place of authority that that surrounds God's throne, not telling us that they that they are righteous in His sight, that they have done all that needed, that all that He required for them to do, and He chose them to sit on in in these seats. And uh, in these seats were the uh, 24 elders. Uh, here, before we get into that, 24, the significant, the number, significant number of 24 uh, in in here. <clears throat> 24 uh, is is the a multiple of 12, 12, 12 plus 12. <laughs> It's twenty four, and and the significance of twelve in the Bible is is a uh, uh, is is considered a perfect number, a uh, perfect number is symbolizing God's power and His authority. That uh, just like uh, here in Revelation, there's uh, the hundred and forty four, um, hundred and forty four sealed, and what was that? What verse is that? Uh, is it in verse six? I believe it's verse verse seven. Verse seven that 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 one hundred forty four that were sealed by by God. Uh, that that's twelve times twelve thousand. Uh, that in Revelations, uh, Revelation verse twelve. Tra I mean, I'm sorry. Revelations chapter twelve, verse one. It goes on here and says there and there appeared a great a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. <clears throat> and flip over to Revelations 21, chapter 16. We're going to read, well, here, I'll, we'll, we'll just go through, go through it. Chapter 21, verse... 16 where it says and the city lieth four square and the length is is as large as as the breadth and he measured the city 
and with the, with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. The length, the, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. Uh, let's see, verse seventeen it says, and he measured the wall thereof, hundred and forty four cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is, that is the that a measure that is of the angel and jump down to verse uh, 19 and 20 and this is the talking about all of the uh, the 12 stones in the, in the uh, city and this is in the foundation of the wall of the city <clears throat> were garnished with all manner of precious stones and the first foundation was was just second sapphire third uh, Chal 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 Chalcedon, fourth emerald, fifth sardonyx, sixth sixth sardius, seventh Chrys uh eighth brail, brail, ninth topaz, tenth chrysoprasus, eleventh jessineth, twelfth uh, amethyst, twelve being the the power of God twelve being the uh, what is that S signifying well signifying the power and authority of God and the uh, being considered that the perfect number and th and these twenty four these twenty four twelve uh, these twenty four represents his, his the 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 I don't I don't, don't want to confuse him but but like the the Old Testament and the New Testament. We'll just say I'll just put it like that. It's the Old Testament and the New Testament, the authority that he had that, that he that he shown uh with Israel, the authority that he shown with, with the twelve disciples, that the power that Christ gave to them uh to cast out devils, the power, the power that he gave them to speak to to speak his word, the the power and, and uh everything that God has done. And it, saying that because every number keep in mind every number in revelation that we're going to go over has uh has a significance to it has a, a, a um a biblical sin significance to it uh so whenever we go over these numbers pay when, uh just pay closer attention so you'll have a deeper understanding and so you don't get thrown by <clears throat> thrown by it all right so here back at uh da, 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 chapter four verse chapter 4 verse 4 and these 24 elders uh they were these 24 elders they were uh sitting in white raiment and and they had on their heads crowns of gold now having on these 24 let's see break it down 24 is the uh i'm not 24 being clothed in white raiment this well all of this the white raiment and the crowns of gold is is the reward, and we're gonna go over that, go over this in a, in a, in really quick soon. That was the being victorious, being uh, overcoming the world, the 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 world and temptations that that uh, that uh, were were thrown at them, and all of this was a uh, was a reward that Christ. You have something in your head. It's still there. That all all of these uh, all of these is is the reward that that Christ has shown to uh, when when that whenever the letters were were uh, written to them. So turn over to uh, chapter three verse five or chapter here. Turn over to chapter two, verse uh, verse ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Revelations chapter two verse ten. Here in Revelation chapter two verse ten, it says, "Fear." Let me make sure I got that right. Okay, it says, "Fear none of these, fear none of those things, which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and and ye shall have have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life." That's referring to the the crown, the crown that's a, a, upon their head. Uh, flip over to uh, chapter three, verse five. Revelations chapter three, verse five. 
and it's still coming out the King James. And it says, and He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And will not I, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. And chapter three, verse twenty-one. Let's see here. And here, chapter Revelations, chapter three, verse verse twenty-one. It says, uh, and this is out the King James as well. It says, to him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in my in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set set down with my Father in His throne. All of these, the, the, the clothes and the crown and, and, and the crown, all of these are and and what they overcame. <clears throat> And now uh, here in in the NIV it says uh, uh, instead of overcome it says victorious. Uh, everyone these twenty four that were set were set down were represents the church, represents the the the, the church as a whole, uh, God's children as a whole, Israel, uh, uh, his children Israel, the promise of the Old Testament, and well not only Israel but but the mixed multitude that left out of Egypt. Uh, and, and in the New Testament, was Christ, was uh, the, the the church that Christ started, where he says, in, in, "Upon this rock I will, st I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it." All of that culminates into one, being being one. And and this this is it is showing that that there's there is no division in God. There's no uh, two sets of people. There, there's no um, how's it, Father? There, there, there's no. Uh, these are my promised children, the Israelites. This is this is my church. I'll set the Israelites over here. I'll set the uh, I'll set the 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 church the uh, the the church. My son Christ set over here, uh, and, and uh, there there's I'll set the Baptists over here, and the Pentecostal here, the Southern Baptists here, the Independents here. It, there's none of that. There there's just unity. There they're just it's just one. These twenty four. That's why it doesn't say. Uh, um, oh man, look this. That's why it, it doesn't say um, round about round about the throne were twelve of so and so and twelve of so and so. It's not separated. It's all brought together as one. And all of these, all of these, uh, were were uh, I just lost my lost my thought. Were were uh, the, the 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 church as a whole. Uh, being brought together as one, and 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 these church, the, the church, the church as a whole, the twenty-four, uh, as we pray and here, flip over to Revelation chapter five, verse uh, verse seven. That it shows that the uh, the unity of 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 it all in Revelation chapter five, verse seven. It uh, oh, is that is that it, Father? It says here, it says, and, and he came and and he came and took the book. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Oh man, where's it at? Chapter five, verse seven. Oh man, I wrote wrote the wrong one down. Where's it at? Uh, the prayers of the saints. Uh, so eight nine. Down. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, just verse eight. I don't know why I wrote verse seven. Susanna, it says, and he, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the before the Lamb, having having every one of them of them harps and golden and golden vis, visual uh, visuals. Yeah, vows. Full of full of odors, which are the which are the prayers of the saints. Oh my eyes are burning. The the prayers of the saints, the the being not. The, this is the unity in it. The being united in one. The, the the prayers of the saints. His church. His church. All of 
everyone's uh everyone's prayers that goes up in, in the name of Jesus to him goes up to him at, goes up to God as one and that that's what this uh that's what the, what these 24 elders represent and that's what and that's what it all uh represents and now going down to uh uh it represents the 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 victor the the victory being victorious over over the world over everything that God has uh thrown against thrown against the church uh everything that God ha or that Satan has thrown against uh of the old testament the the Israelites everything that was cat that was that Satan put against them God has as long as they uh as long as the, the the church and as long as Israel had uh, leaned leaned on God, God uh, showed them the way. God delivered them. God fought their battles. God gave them everything that was needed, and and God uh, gave the, gave all of them, uh, all of all of the those of the Old Testament, those of the New Testament, the victory that was required, <clears throat> that the victory that was that would only be able to be obtained by God. In the Old Testament, and, and by God through Christ, in in the new in the New Testament, and that's what these twenty, and that's what the uh, these twenty four that that are that are around the throne represent. And now uh, go down to verse five, chapter four, verse five, ver chapter four, verse five in Revelation. Now, in this. Once again, of the King James, it says, uh, and, and out of the throne proceeding lightnings and thunders and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the, th before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. The lightning and the thunders, the same thing in, uh, in, ex in Exodus when, whew, thought I had to sneeze. <laughs> did have to sneeze I got it, I got it. <laughs> turn over to Exodus chapter um chapter 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 19 <coughs> keep your finger back in revelations excuse me oh Exodus what did I say Exodus yeah that's what yeah, Exodus chapter 19, verse 16. The thundering and lightning. <clears throat> Excuse me. The thundering and lightning. Uh, here it says, And it came to pass on the third, on the third day of the, on the third day in the morning, that there were thunders and lightnings and a, and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of tr of trumpet exceedingly loud. God's voice, and this and, and this goes together because it, it's not the it the throne that it sit on. It, it it's not can't be mistaken for anyone else. You can't mistake for for an angel that that's sitting upon the throne that's that's uh, doing this. It uh, it can't be mistaken as a uh, as one of the uh, anyone else. Except God Himself, uh, flip over to uh, Re in Revelations chapter fourteen. That God's voice is, is an overwhelming voice. In chapter fourteen, uh, verse two, it says, "And I held, and I heard from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as a voice, uh, as a as a voice of a great thunder." Of great thunder, and I heard voice of harpers harping with their harps. The voice of uh, uh, many waters, the voice of great thunders, once again being being God. And here in, in, in verse uh, in chapter four, verse what is it? Chapter four, verse five. That's what it. That's what it is. It says, "Out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunder. The power of God, the over, the overwhelming, the the uh, how God could overwhelm any anyone if He showed His true self." Uh, that his voice is many water sounds of many water sound of thunders the lightning the power that's coming down out of it uh <clears throat> that's god himself 
and going on even further. It's saying uh, back at Revelation uh, chapter 4, verse 5. Where is it at? And it says, uh, where is it at? Lightning, thunder, verse. Seven, the seven lamps. Seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. The seven spirits of God. This uh, sig significance of this is the is this the it's the Holy Spirit that the, the uh the, it represents the the operations of the Holy Spirit the set the the uh, sevenfold operation of the Holy Spirit um and over in in chat over flip over to chapter let me, let me make sure chapter one verse four where it says this where it says John to the seven churches which are in Asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is <clears throat> which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. The seven fold that this and Lord the Lord will, are gonna take is gonna take us through the, the, the seven fold the seven fold operation of the Holy Spirit later. But that but this but the seven spirits is that is I forgot the seven spirits the common of, of the Holy Spirit and seven being the number of divine completeness yeah. as being of div divine completeness as being uh, God himself once again his power his uh his, his uh it, it, I mean it it can't be explained how God's true power God's true authority God's I, it, the, the only way you can can know what it is is when you wake up every day when you when you look at the sky when when you get up and you have the power to get out of the bed when you have when you uh walk out into the world and and and, <clears throat> and you see sickness you see that sick maybe sickness around you may you may see uh people uh being bad uh, uh having a hard time and when when god when you look and you see the joy, and when you know that the joy of the Lord is upon you, when you when you feel the uh, uh, the the weight a weight that should be bearing you down, that should be overwhelming you, uh, is is li is not is lifted off of you, and you can walk uh, free, knowing that that God has your back, that God is going, that God will solve any problem that is set before you. That is showing uh, his, how his true his authority his. His uh, divine, his his divine power, uh, the how complete he truly is, and here the uh, this uh, the 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 se this seven, seven once again represents uh, that divine. Excuse me, the the divine completeness, and the seven spirits being the whole, being the Holy Spirit, the sevenfold, the sevenfold operations of, of the Holy Spirit. And all of that burns before the throne. And everything that we see that, that's before the throne, everything that we see that's uh that that's that's before or in front of in front of the throne, that's it that's around God, all of that has been uh has been brought in by God Himself, has been created by God Himself, have has been has been uh found righteous by God Himself and all of that all of that has no blemish before it. All of that has no nothing uh, of any uh, of any uh, sin around it. <clears throat> the, the the colors we see, the uh, the images of, of the twenty four elders, uh, the 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 throne, how how the throne looks, at the 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 uh, the thunder and lightning, how much how. Uh, awesome it may seem how, how uh, even how scary it may seem when when you when you uh, uh, hear it up up close um, but all of that is just as when, when God created heaven and earth he says and God see and God uh, how's it God looked on it and it was good <clears throat> all of that was all of this is is righteous it righteous all of this is God is is been allowed by God because there is no there, there's no uh, fault in it. It's all it, it, it all has been clear. It all has been uh, not has been, but it, it's all uh, clean, if you will, by 
uh, by God himself. And these voices and the thunders and, and the lightnings and the seven <clears throat> that was at the sevenfold operation of the Holy Spirit. And going on down here to verse six, how it said how it says, uh, and before and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne uh in in the midst in, in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And now this is where once again we're getting into the symbol of the the full of eyes. And if you somebody just reads that they're thinking there's eyes all around. There's nothing but eyes on the head and some has have to have more eyes than others. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But <laughs> but but how how some was how some would visualize this even, even whenever for whenever the lord had me read through this first the first time before he had me study it i seen that it was like eyes before and behind it i, I pictured something a uh, 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 head with nothing but eyes all around it that's uh, that's it that's before that's in the front and and behind but here we're going to start out step by break it down part part by step by step uh, it says, before the throne, in front of the throne, a sea of glass, clear as crystal. And this is this is uh, reminiscent of the of the uh, was it the the lever. Turn, flip over to Exodus, back to Exodus, and how God had explained to us in the verse above that everything is made made clean, made righteous before him. Exodus chapter 38 verse uh, verse 8 and uh, here in verse, chapter, Exodus 38 verse 8 it says he ma and he made a lever of, of brass and the foot of it <coughs> <clears throat> and a foot of it of brass, of <clears throat> of the looking glass, of the women assembling, which assemble at at the door of the tabernacle of congregation. And it, in the NIV it says he made a bra he made a, a a bronze basin, and its bronze stand from the from the mirrors of the women who who ser who served at the entrance uh, at the entrance of of the tent of meeting. This being where, where, where the priests had to cleanse themselves before they entered in before the Lord, and this the in the basin, uh, uh, the basin here, that sea of glass clear as crystal. This is everything, everything that that is before the Lord is 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 uh, cleansed, is made clean, is righteous. And that, and that's what the Lord was explaining to us. The uh, and and the ver the verses above the elders that sit before Him, the uh, the 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 head the heads f with with the crowns and and the thunder and lightning, the voices and the seven spirits of God. All of that is righteous. All of that is is uh, declared good by God Himself. That's why it's it, that's why it's before Him. That's why it's around Him. And now here the, the throne that this. Uh, the, the this lever the 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 ba this basin it says the uh a sea of glass uh, a sea of glass clear as crystal that <clears throat> is clear as crystal as no imperfections no uh faults in it uh it cleaner than than the uh what what is the what are those uh tropical places that that have that you can see to the uh, the floor of the yeah, like like the the Caribbean islands where you could look at you look in the ocean and you can see the floor of the ocean. It's clear. It's clearer than that. Uh, all of this before God is there. There's nothing. There's just like the Lord taught us before. There's nothing that be that can be compared here on earth to how thing how things look in heaven. 
uh, how pure you can get gold where they uh, purify gold and make it 99% uh, pure there's still that 1% that that's impure in it that no matter how they cut a dime how they cut a diamond that that diamond still has uh, imperfection in it how no matter when they cut the emeralds and, and the rubies and, and and everything that had there's always imperfections in it but as we go through this everything keep in mind that everything that is being explained to us throughout the Bible that there's that when it's before God, well, here, that this part we're on now, sit before when it's before God, when it's in His presence, when it's round, when it's around Him, there are no imperfections in it, there are no uh, faults in it. That that clear that uh, glass clears crit, uh, sea of glass clears, sea of glass, like into crystal. That's in that's in the uh, in the midst of the throne. That that's that that's shown everything that has to that has to uh that that's coming before God is, is going to be clean. It's going to be uh it's going to be righteous in His eyes. It's going there's not going to be any fault in it. There's no there's not going to be any imperfections in it. There's not going to be any uh anything that 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 uh any faults in that. And how does it say in the NIV? Uh, <clears throat> and then look, look uh, see if glass clears crystal, and in the center, in in the center around ra around the throne, uh, in the center uh, and around the throne, these, these beasts, or in an, in in the NIV it says, uh, four living creatures. Now, what, let's see. Let me see. Let's make, make sure I don't jump too far ahead. Now the, the these four beasts. Now I'll take my time with this one. These four beasts turn. It, it's similar to to uh, uh, Ezekiel. Turn to Ezekiel chapter four. Well, before we get before we get to that, the, the number four in the Bible. Number four. The number four. As we read the number four in the Bible, uh, it, the significance is the. It means that the, the creative works. Uh, just say on on the fourth day in uh in Genesis, and we'll flip to that real quick in chapter one. Uh, what is, what is that verse? Verse six maybe, or verse fourteen. Uh, let me let me look. Yeah, verse uh, see did I write? No, I didn't write it down. Verse 14. 14 of verse uh, 19. This is, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament. Of, in, the firm, in the firmament of heaven. This is up to King James. To divide the day from the night. And, and let them be for signs. And for seasons. And for days. And for years. And let them be for be for lights of the be for lights in the firmament of heaven and give and give light upon the earth and it was so and God made two lights two great lights the greater light to the, to rule the day the lesser to rule the to to rule the night he made stars also and God and God said I'll get to I'll, I'll get to you just in, in a second and God set them in the firmament of, of the heaven to give light upon upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and and to divide light from darkness. God saw it, and it was good. God saw God saw that it was good, and evening and the morning were the fourth day, and the day four four being the significance of, of the the creative works. The things that were done in the world, the, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of that, uh, the things, the th material things of this world. Yes. What's from his land. The land. Okay. All right. Here, I, does you, your your Bible will say the same? Not say the same thing. Your Bible will say. Uh, let me look at it again. Instead of firmament. Uh, your Bible would say Earth. 
Oh wait, front wait, where let me wait, let me make sure. I got the right verse. The firmament. The lights in the firmament of heaven. Made two great lights and govern the day when less of the night. Uh Yeah, the sky. Yeah. Oops, my mistake. The vault. Wait, what your say vault? In verse 16, God made two lights, and then one night. Wait a minute, let me make sure. Oh, I'm on, I'm on verse oh, verse 16. I mean, verse 15. That's I'm sorry, I was reading verse 16. It says, and they get and he and and let them be lights in the lights in the vault of the sky. So, it's the sky. My mistake. I said earth. All right. But here, where were where were we? Uh, what were we talking about? No, back at I'm back at Revelations. What verse are we on? Oh man, I lost my I lost my thoughts. Oh, but oh, number four, the, the well, four being the, the the significance of uh the the um creative works, the material, the things, the things of the, the things of the earth, the sun, moon, stars, uh, the thing, the things that God created in the heavens and in the earth, in the head, well, space and the earth, so I don't confuse anybody, but now here, <coughs> uh, what chapter, what verse, and the, the rest of verse six, this is in the midst, uh, oh, the four beasts, the four beasts full of eyes before and behind, the, these four beasts here, the, the uh, these four beasts have the the same aspects that that the angels have. These four living creatures that uh, flip turn to Ezekiel. Flip over to Ezekiel chapter one verse five, and we'll be we'll, It's all going to be in uh, chapter one. Let's see. And Ezekiel right at right after Lamentations. What's it? All right, yeah, right after Lamentations and right before what Daniel? Yeah, Dan, right before Daniel. All right, Ezekiel chapter one, chapter one, verse five. This is talking about the four Crete, the four uh, living creatures here once again. It says and the about also out of the mist out of, out of the out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures and this and this was the appearance <clears throat> they had they had the likeness of man these four living creatures and we're not going to read where this will come up once this will come up a little later the uh the faces of them uh here and jump down to verse 9 it says, and the wings were joined together. I mean, the wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went, <clears throat> they went every, every one straight forward. This is signifying that the, where God would take, where God would have them to go. They did not stray off the, they didn't stray off the path to the left or to the right. Uh, and f jump over to verse 20 of chapter 1 in Ezekiel. And it says, uh, "Whithersoever the spirit would go, they went. Thither was the was there was their spirit to go, and the wheels were <coughs> lifted up, uh, lifted, lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creatures w was in the wheels. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went. Wherever the Holy Spirit will." Have, wherever the Lord would have them to go, the Holy Spirit sent the 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 Lord the Holy Spirit would send them, and that's where they would go. And this is the significance of, of these back in Revelations. These four beasts, uh, they they they're at the aspect of, of like everything. Not only the angels, but everything that that um, everything that 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 follows God. Everything that will will be that has God as as ruler and of of the, their life. It, they travel. Uh, where God would have them to go, they do it. What God would have them to do, just as, just as we are to do 
it, in, in our lives today that when, whenever we walk with God, whenever whatever we do, that God would we are to let God guide us in our pathways, let God uh, rule us in, in our travels, and let God uh, be that be that direction, be the the rudder in our lives to, to to drive us into the way, the pathway that we would that we should go. And um, I'm sorry here, I, we're gonna go over to Zechariah, Ze, uh, Zechari Zechariah. And then I, I know I said we we're gonna stay in uh or or yeah Ze Zechariah chapter chapter six and that's right before ha Haggai oh, I lost my page Haggai Haggai Wait, Zechariah or Zephaniah? Zechariah? no not Zephaniah Zechariah Zechariah chapter six verse five. Now you said that. Now I gotta look and make sure I wrote the right one down. Oh wait, it might have been. I might have wrote the wrong one. Wait, no. Chapter six, verse five. And I hope I didn't write that backwards. There we go, yeah. I was reading chapter 6, verse 6. Zechariah, Ze Zechariah chapter 6, verse 5. And this is out the King James. says, And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of, of the heavens, which go forth <clears throat> standing before the Lord of all the earth. This number, the, the number 4. That the significant the significance of them, uh, being ruled, being driven by God wherever God would have them to go, whatever God would have them to do, that they stand before Him and to do and to do the things that God would have them to do, and that's what these four and flip back over to uh, uh the, these four beasts or in the New King James it says the, I mean not the New King James the NIV it says four living creatures flip back over to Revelations. That they they're ruled they're ruled by God whatever wherever God would have them to go whatever God would have them to do and and the, the number four being that the, the creative works that the things of the things of, not the things of this world but the th what the things of this world before before Satan uh, caused the fall God ruled God uh, had God made everything and everything was good God uh, created everything and everything was good. And this this number four is uh, that that significance is the creation, creative works that God that God had that God has done, the sun, moon, the stars, and the, the earth, all of that, and uh, and here, uh, the eyes before and behind. Now here, the eyes before and behind are the the uh, the the unceasing activity. Everywhere that God would have them to go, they see and they go. Uh, they 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 travel. They they're they're, uh, uh, they're they're going. They're going. Uh, not being tired. They're, they're not not being fatigued. Not being tired of doing God's work. They're continuing on wherever God would have them to go. They're seeing they uh, seeing all the wisdom that that God, all the wisdom that God has that God has given them. That that God has a uh, uh, put upon them. These eyes before and behind are the continued activity uh, that that uh, uh, how God commands them to go. Just like in the, uh, what we read in where was that at uh, Ezekiel, the four creatures, uh, wherever wherever the Spirit would have them to go, that's where they went. Uh, not being not being weary. That's what. Thank you, Father. That's the word I was thinking. Trying to think of not being weary, doing God's work, but continuing on. And the the eyes the eyes before and behind sees sees everything that God would everything that uh, God would have them see. God bless them uh, and, and put upon them to see these things to go about their way to to, to do everything that God would have them to do and uh, and unwavering and and, and how's it, what is what is that for not not being in any way uh, burdened by what God would have them to do, where God would have them to go. But they go on, and they go on uh, not turning to the right hand or to the left. Straight on where, the, where, the, where, just like we read in Ezekiel, how the Spirit would have them to go. 
And that's what this significance of the eyes before and before and behind are. And we're going to stop there. Uh, we'll go on to verse. Well, I'm not going to say what verse. We're going to what verses we're going to do. I know we're going to start at verse seven. I don't know if we're going to get any further. All right. So if there's any any questions, everybody understand what what, what we what the Lord taught us today. Sure. There's a lot to take in. All right. Praise God. Everybody received it. And now, if there's no questions, no uh, statements, nothing to be, nothing else to be said, uh, put the Im invitation discipleship out there. That if there's anyone that that has joined together with us today, uh, that desires to accept Christ as their personal Savior, you can do so. If 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 the fight, if it, if you desire to do so, do it for you, do it for yourself. Don't do it because somebody is nagging you to do it. Uh, somebody, uh, whether it's a loved one or, or a friend or a spouse, no matter who it is. If you desire to accept Christ as your personal Savior, to do it for yourself. Uh, and, and if you're here to come forward, we'll welcome you into the family of God. If you're joining together with us online. If you're joining together with us online, you can do so. All you have to do is with, with all your heart, just uh, lift up your voice to God and say, Jesus, uh, come into my heart and save me. I know I'm a sinner. I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my savior. And that's all that needs to, that you need to do for, for your salvation. There's, there's no classes you have to go to for your salvation to be complete. There's no uh, uh, no probationary period. Uh, there's no waiting around for your salvation to arrive. That once you accept Christ as your personal Savior, once you give your heart to Him, once you say those words with all your heart, Jesus, come into my heart and save me. I know I'm a sinner, and I know I need to be saved. Save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. Be my Savior. Once you say those words, then you're saved. Your name is written in the, in the Lamb's Book of Life. Your home is in heaven. There's no, there's nothing else you need to do for your, to be saved. And I uh, want you accept Christ as your personal Savior. Once you, <clears throat> once you do the, do that. Pray the first thing. Pray, in the name of Jesus, and ask God to send you to a church that He has ready for you. That He has that. That's going to help. That's going to help you with, with your in your walk in your faith in him and your strength and strengthening yourself in him a church that he has picked out for you uh it, it cannot be of your own accord it cannot be the the church that you the, that you choose to go to it has to be it has to be one that god chooses for you to go to so pray in the name of jesus for god to send you to a church that he would have you to go to that's going to strengthen you in your walk and in your faith in him thank you lord and uh if there's any prayer we prayer request if you're watching us online and you have any prayer requests uh our email address the send them on in our email address is is, is uh prayer at rtbministries.us uh send you send in your prayer request uh there's <clears throat> well once we get them we'll pray upon them right away and once again it's prayer at rtbministries.us and send them send on in your prayer request and uh lastly on Sunday, on Sunday we'll be coming together to broadcast our service once again on, here on, on UStream. Uh, we're going, we'll start it off at 12:30. We'll start the broadcast at 12:30. If you, if the Lord would have you to join together with us, uh, welcome you to join together with us. If you desire to come on in person and join together with us, we meet at the Holiday Inn Express here in Elizabethtown, uh, off the Elizabethtown Reams exit off of Route 283. I like said we'll be we'll be uh, starting to come together at 12:30. Uh, we'll start service shortly after that. Uh, God willing, there'll be no, no no delays of any kind. Once again, we'll, uh, it's at the Holiday Inn Express here in here in Elizabethtown, uh, two, uh, Elizabethtown Reams exit off of 283. We welcome you to come on, join together with us. If God would have you to travel, if that's God's will <coughs> will for you. Sing praise, sing, uh, lift up your voices and praises, and to sit at His feet and to receive His word. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, just pray when you accept Christ as your personal Savior. Just pray and ask God to send you to where He would have, where He would have you to go. I right, said, so there's nothing else. If all our hearts and minds are clear. Let's all bow our heads and be dismissed out.
Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for allowing us once again, for coming together, dear Father, for joining together in the name of Jesus and the, uh, entering into this uh, into this uh, Bible study, dear Father. We thank you for allowing us to uh, broadcast this your service, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, letting there not be any interruptions or any any disturbances, dear Father. We, li we thank you for uh, keeping the signal strong, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear Father, to bless and guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, and all that we do and all that we're going to do dear father as we go out in this world in our separate places surround us with your angels protect us dear father in, in every way dear lord bless and guide and keep and stand on with us dear father continue on watching over us and all that we do dear father and, and and bless us dear lord and guide and keep us dear father continue on watching over us in, in, in every way dear father in jesus name dear lord I pray, dear Father, uh, to surround all of the home, all of the homes of your hunger, dear Father, with your angels protecting us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, and bless us once again, dear Father, to come out, to come together on Sunday for your service again, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Give us safe travels, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And once again, we thank you and praise you for allowing us to come together, dear Father, for this, your Bible study. And we thank you for uh, teaching us your Bible study, dear Father. Remind your children to give you all the glory and praise, to give you all the accolades, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.